Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxi. Let's work on the problem 14 together. In this one, we can see first thing it tells us is the motion about a car, right? And the initial velocity is given, it is stationary. And then we know at the far end, the time taken is given and the displacement is given. And also, we want to find the force act on this car. So in this one, the mass is also given. So you can see when we want to find the force, we need to consider the Newton's second law, the mass is given. The next step, we need to know the acceleration. And then we look at the motion for this car, we know initial velocity, we know displacement, and we also know the time taken. It's super easy for us to get the acceleration by using this equation. In this way, we can get the acceleration. There, do you agree? And then we find this acceleration is in unit meter per second square after our calculation. And then in this problem, it want to us to make it in unit g acceleration due to gravity. So 1 g, g equals 9.8 meter per second square. And we times this term there. And we find we can see this acceleration just 2 times g. And then the next one, we need to find the net force. So the force is mass times acceleration. So use force times acceleration. Acceleration is there. Therefore, we get the final answer. Thank you.